there's like a giant spider behind the camera right now and uh, I don't know how to feel about that but I'm just gonna roll with it and start <laughs> this oh, okay I'm gonna start this episode um, welcome back to uh, the podcast I haven't done a podcast in a little while it's been a couple weeks but like I said in my last podcast th there's no plan here there's no outcome, there's no goal. It's really more or less an experiment. Um, I love creating content and sometimes the content that I like to create is even just um, conversational type, uh, talking to the camera type thing like this because uh, I learn a lot about myself doing this kind of stuff. Uh, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I think a lot, I'm in my head a lot and sometimes well, not sometimes, 100%, it definitely helps to get out of my head and to just speak, sometimes with another person, but you know what, if you don't have anybody to talk to, talk to a microphone, talk to a camera, start your own little diary journal podcast type thing, and uh, let me know how that works out. Anyway, uh, just kind of update you on how I'm doing. I've been doing pretty good, actually. I'm feeling really focused lately. Uh, mainly on like I'm trying to focus on the most important things in life and it's not always easy because like distractions are everywhere and I have ADHD 4k OLED ultra like bad okay and so it's easy it's so easy for me to get distracted and especially I mean just look around like it's 2019 the distractions are everywhere man they're in your pocket on your freaking phone they're um, on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, um, games, man. I. This is funny. Go check this out. But if you go to your phone uh, somewhere, I don't know where exactly where you find it, but I downloaded this app called Stay Focused, and it actually helps you to kind of track how long, how much time you spend on your phone, and like I've already spent three hours on my phone today. It's two o'clock. So like that's saying one thing. That's saying something right there. Yesterday four and a half hours. The day before five hours, and it's ridiculous. But I was able to also look at like the entire month, and I spent 58 hours on YouTube in the month of July so far. Oh my God, the month's not even over. 13 hours on Instagram. Seven hours playing Fallout Shelter. Great game, but. I had to like stop playing that because I was getting a little hooked. But yeah, like I'm definitely prone to distraction. I don't know if you can relate. And aside from that, I I've been doing pretty good. I've been feeling really focused. I've been watching this guy, this guy's presentations, his seminars. His name is Mark Passio. He's not like entirely uh, popular or anything. Uh, he's not like any t kind of Tony Robbins or Wayne Dyer, or Oprah or anything like that. Um, but man, he's got some very intriguing information on like the laws of the universe, how the universe works, how psychology works. And uh, I've just been diving into that a lot. You'll probably hear me talk a lot about that stuff because I'm really interested in it right now. Mainly because, uh, like I've said in the last couple podcasts, like I get distracted, I get lost. But within me, I know I have these like powerful desires it's powerful like I got this passion this fire in me to do something important to do something just something I've always felt that way I don't know if you can relate to how that feels but sometimes it sucks because it's like this pressure on you to to do something all the time there's always the pressure to like like I'm not the kind of guy who can just I wish I could be but just like come home and just watch Netflix all day just eat food just like play games just like blissful ignorance like I wish I could but like there's something in me that wants to do shit and if you don't want to do shit like that's okay too like I said I sometimes wish I felt like that but I've always got this compelling just like do something do something do something and so lately I've been I mean, the past few months I've been really distracted by games and YouTube and Netflix and stuff. And But most recently, like since I recorded the last podcast, I've kind of put some of that stuff aside. And even the time that I am spending on YouTube, I'm spending it 
trying to just educate myself, like just trying to gain some knowledge because I feel like some of my lack of self-confidence and some of my just lack of um, initiative or lack of action because I just, you know what I mean, sitting around not doing things. Uh, I think a lot of that stems from, here I am, my mind getting distracted. <laughs> I think a lot of it stems from just lack of self-awareness and and not just self-awareness but just awareness of like the universe and how it works. I mean sometimes I've definitely gotten caught in the idea that you know the only reality is the reality that you see. The only reality is your perspective. Like what's real to you is real. What's true to you is true. But that doesn't actually make a lot of sense at all it makes no sense because i'm not the only person here i was i mean i had a mom and a dad who birthed me i have a brother i have you watching this like there's like eight billion people on this planet you're not counting the species that all the other species the insects the animals the fish the whatever like all these different consciousness consciousnesses and then there's this like you know ridiculous universe out there that we know absolutely nothing about really so there's there's something out there there's a truth there's uh there's a meaning to life you know i've always i've asked myself that question a lot i think anybody has i don't know but why do we stop asking the question is uh, why i'm curious but the question is what is the meaning of life that's such an important question to ask and i think growing up you're kind of just always told like oh you'll never know the meaning to life or uh, there is no meaning to life or whatever the meaning to life is whatever you want the meaning to, of life to be and I don't know that answer is just not good enough for me like it feels like there's like I don't know maybe it's just me being delusional or weird or whatever but I feel like I'm here for some type of purpose to do something to I'm on some type of mission I must be like why else would I be here because I mean the the thought that this is all just a simulation, nothing matters, um, you know, your actions have no consequences, like that just makes no sense to me. It just doesn't, it doesn't resonate, it doesn't work. Because I mean, if that's the case, then why, what's the point in any of this? What's the point in even being here? What's the point in even trying? What's the point in even getting out of bed? It's all, it's just too dark. <laughs> it's just like, that can't be it. And I mean, look around, like this can't be an accident, like gravity, it's a law, it works. You know, like, I'm just, I don't know. I'm also keeping super open-minded. I'm really like open because I, I know that I have nothing figured out because I know that like, I have so much to learn and that like I'm so naive in, in so many ways I just want to know every perspective I just want to know everything and obviously I'll never know everything but just like I'm open to it so like you know I've even my friend Drew sent me um, a video by Jordan Peterson about the biblical series it's about the Bible and stuff and man I've been pretty close-minded to uh, the Bible and especially Catholicism because growing up as a Catholic I was treated like I was treated like scum and the, nothing about the church and the school that I went to felt like real it didn't feel like love it didn't feel like uh, it just felt off maybe that's just me but my vibes I was not vibing with it whatsoever not to mention I was told in grade 8 that it, a teacher told I told the teacher church teacher I told her hey like I haven't been to church in a while I don't really like to go to church and by the way I'm also not baptized and this is a grade 8 I was like I don't know what are you in grade 8 12 13 and she told me straight up looked in my eyes and said you're going to hell it's too late for you like it's done you're going to hell so like what <laughs> I mean you're gonna tell a 12 year old kid he's going to hell something about that doesn't make sense to me something about that doesn't resonate with me um, doesn't seem true it doesn't seem I mean 
I was 12. Like, what are you going to do at the age of 12? Like, are you already damned to hell? Like, you're, you're it's doesn't work for me. But anyway, he sent me over this video about the Bible and, and all the, and everything like that. And I'm really opening my mind to that because even though I've rejected it and, and tossed it out of my life for so long, I'm willing to go back and just like grab some nuggets of truth because you know there's some truth in that book you know that there's some lessons in there that are like pivotal to like human consciousness to human evolution to like being a better person to making this experience not just better for yourself but better for your neighbor better for your family better for people across the world like in general like there's there's got to be more right to what we're looking at to what we're looking at right now Cause like right now the current state is like I mean look it's pretty dope it's pretty dope I mean look around like it's pretty dope but at the same time we're still slaves in so many ways that we have a lot of growing to do as a as humanity like we just do and it's happening and you're seeing it with the younger generations and even the older generations like willing to People are willing to change. People are willing to like take a second look at themselves, take a second look at the society, the culture, and like think about how can we make this better? Because it just can be better. It could always be better. And we could always be, we could always be more fair to each other and just like, I don't know. Starts on an individual level though. It really does. And that's kind of where I'm at right now is you know I've done a podcast in personal development space where I've put myself on the line on camera five days a week for like an hour every day telling people just trying to inspire people just trying to share um, not just inspiration but like tactics like real life things that you could do that are just gonna make your life better it's just gonna make you um, happier with yourself a better person right like I've done a lot of that but I kind of ran out of steam. Like I ran out of uh, inspiration myself. And like when you didn't got no inspiration yourself, how are you gonna share that with other folk? You ain't gonna do it. So like where I'm at now is, is like, I'm less in, in uh, I'm not trying to really inspire anybody or share any kind of like truth or nuggets of truth. Really, I think where my value is right now is just like being an open book and just sharing what I'm going through and what I'm learning. Because, I mean, that works for me. I know, like, even just when I get together with my brother, I'm always asking him, like, brother, what are you learning? Like, what are you up to? Like, let's share those nuggets of truth with each other. This is what I'm learning. And, like, it's so personal, right? It's not something, like, it's not always something that applies to every person at every stage of life. Like, we go through these different stages. And so, like, Maybe you can relate to the stage I'm going through right now. Maybe you're going through a whole other stage that I know nothing about that I haven't reached yet. And, and I can learn from you. So I also want to encourage you to like leave some comments because I want to learn, biddies. Um, yeah, I don't know. I might just leave it, leave it at that for now. Um, those are kind of my thoughts right now trying to avoid distractions and focus on the true things that matter in life man and I'm talking about like to get more specific I'm trying to spend time every single day even if it's five minutes focused on my heart so I start with my heart because like that's really where it begins I think like that's what you care about it's what matters to you it's what you love right and before you get distracted by like the millions of distractions that feel good it feels great to, to do those distractions or to be a part of them but they often pull you away from your heart and what really matters and so like that might just start like I just do like a five minute like meditation of like focusing on things that I'm grateful for focusing on things that I'm proud of and focusing on things I'm excited about for the future and just keep it super freaking simple five minutes because oftentimes when I wake up I don't really feel like doing that but like I know that it's gonna be good for me, so I just like five minutes, keep it short and sweet, boom, and then that puts me. <clears throat> excuse me, uh, that puts me in a state of 
just like ready to to go about the day in a positive way and things that are gonna help me. So the next thing I'll do, I've talked about it before, I'll do the Wim Hof breathing. And that's more for my mind. Well, it's for everything, mind, body, whatever, but that's kind of the focus. I'll breathe, um, makes me feel good. I did like three rounds of breathing before I started this. It helps me just um, clear out a lot of the thoughts and uh, just feel good. It's like a natural, it's a natural high in a lot of ways and mm, it's beautiful. And then I've been doing the seven minute workout. I've been trying to lose my freaking, my freaking gut. Oh, you can't see it. It's probably good that you can't see it. But I'm trying to lose my uh, winter fat that I've accumulated over the past couple of winters. Uh, I was getting pretty fit there for a little while, but then, you know, you get comfortable and you just like slack off. And that's what happened to me. So just trying to be humble about it. Just freaking work on, on myself every day yeah and then um i've got a few other things that i'm trying to do every day but it's like really trying not to overwhelm myself because i know myself good enough to know that if i pile on too much and if i force myself too much it's like an automatic like i'll throw everything away and i'll and i'll do nothing and i will not go anywhere so just doing my best to like you know take it easy but at the same time challenge myself, find that balance. There's a freaking balance that I've not had in my life, I don't think ever. Uh, I always go to one extreme or the other. And so uh, that's the goal. That's uh, what I'm learning. That's what I'm up to. That's how I'm doing. That's what's new. Uh, leave a comment and let me know what's new with you. I'd actually like to know. Let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's. Okay, subscribe. Bye.